Yes, Alex, I'm recording. Would you stop 100.9 The Creek Row Music Row Radio? <laughs> Tony he Doolin, just, Charles Davis. He just wants to make sure. <laughs> Alex Von Keudel from The Making Mayhem is here. Yeah, I'm recording, man. It's so fitting when you say my name like that now because you're actually angry at I'm me. actually angry at <laughs> you. <laughs> so it works. Why are you throwing stuff? Stop throwing I mean, it's things. like, you know, I'm sitting here. I'm like, hey, by the way, Alex, I'm recording, by the way. <laughs> You'd already I mentioned it. I finally learned that every time Alex comes in, I need to record this segment. Yeah, it only took him 85% of the season. So what, it. so what does he do just before I crack the mic? It, it, are you recording? Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing, okay? <laughs> it's Monday, man. Why do you do this? Let the man do his thing. That's exactly man. why I do good it. Good morning, <laughs> Alex Von Coitel. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your official title? Director. Yeah, it's a great story. Okay. Oh, so the disrespect. I know. Let's talk about a few things. Number one, <laughs> we were talking off air about uh, the uh, Coach Leo Thomas Coaches Show line change mm-hmm. downstairs at the Creek Stage Tuesday nights, six thirty. Get there early. Get yeah. your food and beverage. Yeah. Uh, you guys were packed up last week. We were. It was great. It was amazing. Uh, it was coming off a two-game sweep over Fayetteville, and we had a new guy come in who played really well. He Is was it Keplinger or Keplinger? Keplinger. I Keplinger. made that mistake. Yeah. And and we had Larry Smith and, and Coach Thomas, of course, and it was a great show. The, the whole the whole re- area by the Creek stage was packed, so it was awesome. I, uh, I didn't get to stop by Tuesday night, um, but... Were there like photo ops afterwards? All the kids coming up, taking po- <laughs> taking pictures, and oh yeah, and so and Snapchat. Even the news came by. WGXA came oh. by. Oh, yep. People had great questions. Nice, great, great food, great company. So we're looking for that same thing this Tuesday. Exactly. Tuesday night at the Creek Stage. Yeah. Come out for the uh, Coach Leo Thomas Coaches Show. And if you haven't met the coach, for the love of God, come out. Meet Go coach. come on out here, meet Leo. He's a, he's a great guy. Good dude, man. He's a great guy. Meet huh. Coach Leo. Huh. Um, so we got two games this week. Alex, that's correct. These are big ones. Friday and Saturday night, Military Appreciation Night. Yep. Any spoiler on the special jersey? No. Is it? Can you <laughs> confirm or deny that it is camo? No. Like military camo? No. Well, I'll just I'll deny it. Actually. Okay. Okay. All right. That's okay. We, we had a camo night, so it's no, not. no, we've okay. already done that. But okay. That was that was outdoor I'm camo. camo. We're talking about military camo. camo. Yeah. I'm a different camo. It's not camo. I'll okay. Say, I'll All right. Say, well, I'll then we that. do know that. We know that then. Okay. But there will be a jersey auction Saturday night. That's correct. It's a sailor's. Um, shirt is what it is. <laughs> Got the little ties around the top. Little tie around the front. The making midshipman. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well done, Alex. That was good. He brought his own jokes this morning, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, clearly. In case you didn't notice <laughs> that. Clearly. <laughs> he brought his own jokes. Alex, uh, introduce the guest you brought with you. This is Jimmy Soper. Um, he's one, of, in my opinion, he's one of our most fun players to watch, and from a broadcasting perspective, he's a lot of fun to call. Uh, he does it all he's a really good 200 foot player and he he throws hits around like it's nobody's business so. right we likes that jimmy yeah. tell us about you good morning sir how are you <laughs> i'm good how are follow you? that one up i'm good how old are you <laughs> i'm 23 years old. Hate, he's bit about that Jim. i'm, I'm angry you. about, that. about I that i really am mm-hmm. so uh tell me about uh growing up where are you from from waterloo ontario about an hour uh south of toronto okay Mm-hmm. Really, I would have never guessed from the accent. Wow. Well, yeah. 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 I took two years of conversational Canadian in he college. Did. Okay. By the way, I mean, yeah. didn't do well I in the to class. Say about an A. That's all. That's all, that's you, all you gotta have. He yeah. skipped the rest of. Uh, when did you start playing, man? Uh, well, my dad put me in skates as soon as I could walk. So nice. I bet you I was playing by about four. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where'd you play? Uh, where'd you play your your high school? And then you you didn't go to college. You went straight into the uh, straight into the pros. Yeah, I. Um, Played junior uh, in my hometown, Waterloo and Kitchener, for two years, and then I played uh, out in Halifax, Nova Scotia, for two years. Where was that again? Halifax, Nova Scotia. I just want to hear you Nova say Nova Scotia. It. Not, not yeah. you, Charles. I want to hear him what, say what, Okay, you know what? Just because I can't... Yeah. Uh, never mind. Just go ahead, Jimmy. Yeah, I was <laughs> going there Jimmy. for two years, and then... Um, I actually attended one year of school, hated the school part, wasn't enough hockey, and then uh, started the program. <laughs> too much school, not <laughs> no, enough hockey. We, no, we, we talked about that. No, you went to, um, on that. You got to go to a league that was pretty much like the, I don't want to call it amateurs because you weren't amateurs, but it was like minor, li- minor league hockey. Kinda, but you had to waive your you, college eligibility to go to that league, right? Yeah, so what it is is you just can't go to school in the States. Uh, it allows you to go to school in Canada, and then it, it's paid for by that league. But... Um, you only play 26 games three months of the year. So it's, yeah, it's a real abbreviated season. Yeah, it's yeah. not real fun that way. Not bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a lot so, of recovery time. How do you end up in Macon? <sighs> I got a call from Coach Leo and uh, haven't looked back since. Nice. Well, when he called you, now you, you come on through. You know, yeah. talk, talk about the kind of guy that Leo is and the kind of coach that he is for this team. Well, you know, Leo is a hard nosed hockey player, and I think he brings that to the coaching and 
you know, with his effort and stuff put in, it, you know, makes you want to put that effort in back for him. I heard Leo likes a lot of hip hop. Does he play a lot of hip hop in, in the locker room? <laughs> I, I haven't heard Leo's music yet. But, well, just uh, wait. Just, just, just I'll wait. be waiting for the day. Yeah, no, it's a rough. Look, I'm gonna tell you this. Um, I'm taller than Coach Leo, but he scares me. He <laughs> intimidates the hell out of me. Yeah. Well, when he I'm looks glad at he you, likes me. Yeah, when I'm he looks at you, you mean me. it. He, he means exactly what he says. What no, he's a straightforward coach. Yeah. He's yeah. got to be a lot of fun to uh, to uh, play for. Yeah, he is a lot of fun to play for, but uh, I can see how he scares you. He's not really a guy you want to piss off. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Good on that. <laughs> What's your favorite part of playing, man? I mean, you've done this all your life. Is it the hits? Is it knocking somebody to the ice? There, there is a great feeling knocking someone to the ice. I mean, just a good, solid, just oh, just putting them through the glass. The best hit you've ever had in your uh, that you've had so far. What's the best hit that you can remember? <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably go back to last game. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, then. All right. <laughs> It'd be the last game, but he's looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Looking to add some on that. Yeah. You know, no, that's awesome. Yeah. So um, sometimes I ask this question. Sometimes I don't, but I'm going to ask you. Um, favorite hockey movie? You have a choice of three. Okay. Miracle, Slapshot, or Goon? Miracle. Everybody always yeah. takes the Hands down. positive expect, story. Yeah. Because. I'm Canadian to pick Miracle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> what is that so interesting? Hey, that's the Canadian my, guy. It's my favorite too, so I'm with you. I'm with you, Jimmy. See, I'm a total goon guy. He's a goon yeah. guy. Okay. I'm a total goon that's guy. That's my second yeah. favorite. Why, why the Mighty Ducks are not on this uh, list, I don't understand. But that's just Because me. it's not one of the greatest hockey movies of all time. Yes. It is. It'd be number four. Emilio Estevez puts on a great. Jimmy, where does it rank? Where does Mighty Ducks rank? I don't, I don't know if I in the top three. Four. <laughs> See, <laughs> you forgot about Goon too. Jimmy, I was gonna get you a T-shirt and some coffee once this was done, but guess what? You I'm ain't gonna, getting I'm nothing. I'm gonna get you a T-shirt, Jimmy. Don't worry about it. Hurt so, my uh, this Friday and Saturday, making mayhem on the ice. It is Military Appreciation yeah. Night taking on Huntsville 735 Puck Drop each night mm-hmm. at the Centerplex. And, of course, line change. Coach Leo Thomas coaches right. show tomorrow night. Jimmy, thanks for coming in, man. Thank you. Appreciate, I appreciate it, you getting up early. Discounted yeah, tickets for, for military me. personnel. By yeah, the way. y'all come on out for that. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, definitely do that. Where can they get tickets, Alex? <laughs> you can uh, visit the Mayhem website, makingmayhem.com, or just swing by the box office the day of the game. All right, there we go. Here's, uh, here's one for you. Jimmy, it's Troublemaker is the name of this song. <laughs> Looking forward to this weekend. It's Vandaliers on the Creek.